if you want to find out how to make a mesh glow like this, so you can, oh, that's a little too far. Yeah, like this, well, it's actually kind of simple. It's a lot more simpler than you probably expect. Anyway, so you want to get a mesh in the first place, and for me, my mesh is in an instant scene. So I have the mesh, and you can see that nothing is glowing here. Well, it's not going to glow in the actual scene itself, but we also have to do some extra steps. So, uh, you want to create a material, a normal standard material, and I'm pretty sure every setting can be different. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost sure. And the only thing you really want to change is you want to go to raw and each of these RGB have to be greater than one. So the the red has to be greater than one, the green has to be greater than one, and the blue has to be greater than one. And I'm not sure. Wait, let me try something. Okay. Um. And then if you want like a more vibrant color, then I recommend going to a mission and just adding the color you'd like you could probably never mind oh yeah so you just add a color onto a mission that way you have like a more colorful glow and so once you have that you want to go to your actual scene and you want to add in world environment node you could also click on these th these three dots and there'll be like a button over here that says add to scene you could do that or you could just add it normally anyways you want to scroll down to glow the drop down menu and click enable you're prompted with some options I'd recommend changing the blend mode to additive or screen the only difference is that screen is a little lighter as you can see compared to additive and uh. Yeah, just don't use these three because they barely, like, I don't, I can't even notice, like, a glow when I use them. And then you want to increase intensity and strength to match the certain amount of glow you like. So just play around with those two settings, and that's really all you need to add glow to a certain mesh. And just a quick tip, if you want to increase or this HDR threshold is why we have to increase our raw RGB greater than one so if if it's not working then your HDR threshold might have to be adjusted to one and yeah that's basically it if you'd like to see more like simple tutorials like these uh, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see and uh, I have a pretty cool AI tutorial coming along or a like an enemy AI tutorial so if you'd like to see that then I recommend you sub and like the video anyways thanks for watching